everyone, I'm lucky enough to be in the Knesset in Jerusalem with Hi everybody, Bill Blitman. Welcome to the Knesset. And uh, we're going to show you through uh, all the behind the scenes at the Knesset. So, uh, we'll so this is where uh, when Chabad Knesset and ministers uh, walk in. This is the entrance for them. And this is the place where we would greet uh, any visitors that are coming, uh, shake hands, the photo op, that all happens right over here in the downstairs part of the Knesset. Just like right now, they're about to do some photo ops right here. Okay, see you soon. Okay, next stop, we're in the plenum, the Malaya. This is the main room uh, where the Knesset meets, meets. If you just look down below us over here. Yeah. Um, it's incredible to be in a place where uh, so much history uh, happens, where all the major decisions uh, are voted on. Yeah. Um, we're actually this bulletproof glass on the other side of us over there to keep people from uh, in any way endangering uh, anyone. Right. Um, if you can tell, I don't know if you could check or not, but if you could tell, it's mm -hmm. shaped in the shape of a menorah. Right. Uh, the seats. Um, Shalom. Um, the coalition sits over there on that side. Okay. Over there. The opposition uh, sits over here. Every member of Knesset has their own seat and their place uh, where they vote from. Okay. The speaker uh, sits in the front. And there are very, very strict rules about who can go where on the floor. Basically, only members of Knesset and the ushers themselves uh -huh. go on the actual floor of the Knesset. So the assistants have to be uh, on the sides. One of the greatest scenes is when there's an actual vote. Yeah. Uh, you get 10 seconds uh, to vote. Uh -huh. And there's the screens. I don't know if you see those screens over there. Um, um, they actually have this like dramatic countdown. Right there. Of 10, 9, 8. And then uh -huh. everybody runs to their seats uh, to try to vote. Um, the government table is the middle table. You see the very middle of, this the, one? of the menorah. Okay. And the prime minister sits um, right in the, in the middle. Okay. Uh, it's just always for me. Uh, every time, every time, literally, I walked into this room. Yeah. There was a feeling of awe of, right. of what's happening over here. And even if the votes that we were doing weren't major, major votes, just to know that you're in the place where so much uh, important uh, no, this elements is, of our history. This is the this Israeli is, government. Correct. This is, this, is, this is what we waited for. I mean, uh, among the things that we waited for for 2,000 years was that we're, not, that we're not dependent on right, how many we, we pray, the Tsar should take care of us, the right, Caesar right, should take right. care of us, the king should take care of us. And here we can make our own decisions. That's part of the blessing of, of our return after 2,000 years. And that's something which I reminded myself about every time I walked in here. Fantastic. Okay, we'll see you soon. Okay, so now we're in the Chagall Hall. They're actually having a luncheon. And this is uh, a place where any ceremonies that happen take place here, or official dinners. And as you see behind us over here, we'll try to go this way. Uh, there's an official dinner. It's called the Chagall Hall because of the Chagall paintings that you see over there. Uh, very, very dramatic. I always say, whenever there are speeches here, uh, it's good to have the painting behind because in case you're not focusing on the speeches, you can just, you could just lose get, yourself a little bit. <laughs> you can get close to the painting. But one other thing that's very important to hear is yes. there's a copy of the Declaration of Independence. Okay. And this, again, for me, was something which I always enjoyed seeing, you know, Be'erit Yisrael, Kam Ha'am Ha'yudi, in the land of Israel, then the nation of Israel was established, and you have the signatures uh, below, starting with David Ben-Gurion, and I think it's so powerful to have that sitting out here in the parliament, just again to remind yourselves of the magnitude right. of what's going on. Wow, we have our own independence, we have our own country, and we determine uh, our future, and that's a very powerful uh, declaration that's sitting right over here in the middle of the Knesset. Fantastic. Okay. Okay, so as you we were walking through, Dov wanted to show us something very special. Something that a lot of people don't realize about the Knesset, it's the most environmentally par uh, friendly parliament in the world. And there's even a picture over here where they show how all the power in the Knesset comes from solar panels. Uh, there's the recycling everywhere, uh, making sure that we don't waste. And you know, people around the world don't realize uh, that Israel is advanced in this way and progressive and working on these kinds of issues. Uh, you know, when we talk about being an or la goyim and or la olam, a light unto the nations, uh, this is part of it as well, to show how we are concerned for the environment and we want to be an example to the rest of the world and parliaments around the world uh, when it comes to this issue. Great. Well, we know that food is very important during your day, so... It's actually the most important part of the day in the Knesset, the amount of work that gets done while eating. Uh, people <laughs> really? would not imagine. Not the committees, not the plenum, but sitting over meals. So this is one of three dining rooms that they have in the Knesset. This is one of the meat ones. But we're just going to walk together uh, in this direction for okay. a moment. Okay. Uh, we'll serve a member of Knesset. Okay, so now we're at the next uh, dining room called... Uh, this is the minister and member of Knesset dining room. Just take a look inside. You'll see how 
how it's set up. I, I actually originally was very against uh, using this. What I and so I have to sit in the member of Knesset dining room. Right. But then I started realizing you sit in the main dining room, people come over to you and talk to you all the time, and you can't actually get work done during right. that critical time. So this is a room where so much gets done. You want to sit together with another member of Knesset, who's a minister, you get something done, you say, let's go have lunch, let's go have dinner, and you sit here, uh, I don't know if you can see the tables or not, uh, yeah. But it's done very nicely, but you sit here and you talk to each other, and the most important thing about it is, and we're just going to turn around and do a little, oh. is that that door behind us over there is the entranceway into the Malaya. Oh. So you can be in session and just run back and forth and have meetings and have productive meetings, and then go and vote at the same time. There was a very good architect that... Uh, Absolutely, that was planned <laughs> very carefully. Planned the Knesset, exactly. Okay, so now Doba's going to show us something very impressive in the... This is a board which shows uh, all, oh, it just disappeared for a moment, uh, but we'll come back to it in a minute. This is a board which is used by the leaders of the different parties to know, can we call a vote? So for example, right now, they'll look quickly and they'll see, wait a minute, there's only 26 members of the coalition here and 30 members of the opposition. Uh -huh. If they would bring a vote to the floor right now, the coalition would lose uh, the vote. Yeah. So that's something which they wouldn't want uh, to happen. And this is used. But this shows all the members of Knesset. And the ones, the ones lit, up. lit up. Are the ones who are here. When you walk in the morning, you check in with the guard and your face lights up. <laughs> uh, right? We bring light to the world. And right. Way, anybody can know who's here at any time. This is available, by the way, on the internet. So, for example, my mother could call me up and say, Why aren't you at work today? Where are you? Uh, that's something which anybody Anybody can follow any time to see who's actually working and who's not. So let's see if we recognize any of the faces. Uh, you'll see over here the speaker of the Knesset, Yuli Edelstein. He's here. He's obviously here uh, quite a and bit. Yehuda Glick. Uh, Yehuda Glick, who's uh, also uh, American-born and, and made Aliyah. Rachel Azaria, whose mother made Aliyah oh. when she was 18, and uh, she served so in the Knesset. Her also. So yeah, so we might see some of these people. Uh, Fantastic. Okay, where are we now? We are on the government floor. This is where the ministers uh, have their offices. There's a nice display here, a memory of all the presidents of Israel uh, who have passed away. You can see them uh, along this line. Uh -huh. This is also where the television uh, interviews in the Knesset uh, oh. take place. We're having you, one right now, I think. Having one right now with Yaakov Perry, who's actually from my party, Yeshatid. And if you walk over here, you will actually see, I'm walking closer backwards. and closer and closer as we walk backwards. Okay. This is the office of none other than the Prime Minister of Israel. The Prime Minister is right now in, in America, America, about to meet with when it comes President to Trump. Reagan, but President Trump, but when he's in the Knesset, this is his office, and he just walks up right up these steps uh, to go into the Malaya for voting, and he can run back and forth uh, easily this way. Perfect. We're in a very, very holy special room in the Knesset. How many parliaments in the world have a shul? This is the Beit Knesset in the Knesset. Uh, and for me as a Chavah Knesset, to know that you have a mincha at 12.30, 1.30, or 2.30. It's a uh, real minion factory A real here. minion factory. <laughs> and also it was a chance like in the middle of the day to stop and sort of refocus. And, you know, people from different parties praying together, men, women, there's also a women's section. Uh, it was always a very special part of my day to sort of pause and, and recognize, wow, I have a shul here, I can daven here, and pause in the middle of the day to think about, you know, what's truly important. Wow, really special. That's just beautiful. So right now we're in a hallway that has... It's a secret. Uh, the Knesset has its own gym, fitness center. And oh. we'll just turn around this way. And behind me, you have Chave Knesset, and you have ministers. Uh, prime Minister is here sometimes. Oh, wow. Well. Uh, defense Minister. Uh, little secret room that we call uh, the fitness center. You take a few minutes out of your day and we... uh, be a little healthy as well. Okay, yeah, they don't let us uh, film inside. Yeah. A little bit of privacy. <laughs> I could feel very comfortable in this room. <laughs> right now, we are in... The Knesset TV, Channel 99. This is the hub where all the workers, the journalists, do their writing. You can see the makeup rooms uh, at the side. Yes, so someone right there is getting her makeup done. Someone's getting her makeup done. And now we're going to go into the actual studio. Okay. Okay, so now we're actually in the studio. Tova was just offered a job on the Knesset TV, by the way. So Let's uh, just... We'll keep that on the... But, yes. Okay. Uh, this is the studio itself where they film these different shows. There's actually four or five different locations that they use. And every time you watch on TV, you think it's a different studio, but it's all in this room. And now uh -huh. they're setting up right now for uh, one specific show. Uh, but this is where the basically the, the Israel version of C-SPAN uh, uh, takes place right over here. Wonderful. And uh, maybe you'll see me on, what's this called? Uh, Roots 99? Uh, Roots 99. Perfect. <laughs> yeah.
Okay, so now we just entered a committee room, very official. This is where most of the work in the Knesset uh, takes place. Uh, there's, uh, there's many, many rooms just like this where we sit, and this is where we discuss legislation, this is where we discuss policies, way before you get to the Malaya, to the official chambers, uh -huh. before it gets to a before vote. Brought there. And this is where Chavik Knesset spend hours and hours and hours uh, deliberating things and discussing things, uh, leading up to bringing a law or a policy to the actual Malaya. Wow, amazing. Let's, uh, I'm going to go sit in the chair. Yeah, you can, Let's you can, go you try can it call out. this meeting to order. Perfect. Okay, I so. Talk, you can talk to the microphone, too. Oh, I could talk in the microphone. Oh, I'm yeah, talking in the microphone. And uh, with my other hand, because, you know. <laughs> okay. Very cool. So that's, you've officially called the uh, tour of the Knesset to a, to a close. Uh, but this is where the chairman would sit. You can actually see what the view looks like uh, for them to see a room full of people and they're televised. People can watch these at any time. Uh, go to the Knesset uh, website and see everything uh, that's happening in the Knesset and get a sense for how our parliament actually works. Amazing. Well, thank you so much for this fantastic CUR, this tour of the Knesset. It was a real honor. And My pleasure, and I hope you enjoyed. And uh, you'll see the actual interview in a few weeks. Bye, everyone.